Well, in 2008, there was no more houses being built. The film industry really starting to boom around here, and we got into that, and it's been a blessing for me and my family, for sure. While in school for fashion, I was told that I would have to move to L.A. or I would have to move to New York. Um, being a homeowner in Georgia, I really didn't want to uproot and have to leave home, and the film industry has just really saved me. In the film business, it's kind of like building a house. You have to have carpenters, you have to have plumbers, you have to have electricians, you have to have someone to help you pick out the colors, the appliances, the, the furniture. You know, all that is encompassed in the film industry, so we hire a lot of vendors that come in and they do all this. So after working with about 30 different productions uh, over time, uh, I paid attention to what their needs were, what their warehouse space needs were, what their office needs were. Melling Avenue Stageworks came about really kind of by luck. I stumbled upon this building uh, in the south side of Atlanta. From the evolution of where I've come from, from doing short-term leases, ending up with a building I now own uh, a part of was a pretty amazing transformation. We are a building material supply retailer, and we've been in business since 1919. Late 2008, we thought, saw things really start kind of coming apart at the seams. 2009, pretty much stopped. That's about the same time that we had some acquaintances here in Tucker that are in, involved in the film business. I can honestly say that's what kept us in business through the 2009, 10, and 11, when things were just awful. The production business has been good to us. It's kept us busy. It's kept us from laying off employees. It's kept us going, basically. It started off at probably 15 to 20 percent of our business. Um, at times, it's 35 to 40 percent of our business now. The film industry has been a phenomenal partner for the Lifecycle Building Center. When we began our operation, started working with a TV project, and they became our largest single customer to date. There's a tremendous amount of material that comes out of film projects, and we're able to capture that material and distribute it back into the community to organizations. Since 1998, I've been doing this. I began in a the theater and then moved into film in 2005. If it wasn't for this, I would not be making the money that I make now and be able to afford to do the things that I am, I am able to do. I have buy my house, have my car, take care of my family. It's keeping people employed. People are coming here and leasing apartments, staying in hotels, eating at restaurants. So overall, it's really, really doing a great thing for the economy here in Georgia. Well, on this particular show, at the highest point, I mean, we've had over 100 guys out here just in the building part. As early as five years ago, we were eight people. And since we started getting involved with the Georgia Film Tax Credit, we have gone from eight people from the initial year of the tax credit to now we have 150 employees. The tax incentives for the film industry have been a great boon to the movie industry. And by the same token, the movie industry has been a great boon to the economy for the state of Georgia. I've worked on 20 to 30 productions in the state of Georgia since 2005. We've been everywhere. Valdosta, Griffin, Georgia, St. Simons Island, Blairsville, Helen, Georgia, all over the state of Georgia. I've worked on The Walking Dead seasons three and four. I've worked on the originals. I've worked on The Game on BET, as well as Devious Maze seasons one and two. It's not that the people that are making money are out of state. It's not a bunch of LA people. It's most of the people that are here, they're all residents of the state of Georgia and they've lived here. I've even had friends out in LA say, we're all even struggling to find work, try and go somewhere else. and. That's why I chose Atlanta. If it weren't for the film industry, I don't know where I'd be. I'm not sure that we would be here today, after almost 100 years of business, had it not been for getting a fair big share of this business over the years and experiencing the loyalty and, and, and it goes both ways. It's really been good for us. I gotta tell you, I love the film people. <laughs>